In this video we're going to look at another inner panel feature which is called free divisions. These are very similar to uprights and shelves. The only difference is they allow you to create the inner panel with a slope. To apply a free division we first select the inner volume. You can then go to modify, add free divisions or just right click on the volume and add it like that. The positioning works just like standard shelves and uprights. We're going to concentrate just on the slope element in this video. Without the vertical box ticked, you have a horizontal free division which acts like a shelf. Again, the only difference is you can give it a slope. You can add a left to right slope by adjusting the angle here. Or you can use the depth slope parameter and create a front to back slope. Let's hit OK and add our free division. So in this case you might want to use this sloping shell for a shoe rack for example. With the free division selected you can carry on adjusting the position in the properties menu. So let's move it down slightly. Okay so that's a free division acting like a shelf. Let's delete that. Go back into free divisions and this time click vertical. The option open to you then is a rotation. Let's just adjust it here and we can see the impact it has. I'm going to delete that again. To show you another feature of free divisions, I'm going to add a slope to this side panel. Let's make it 15 degrees. Now select free divisions again. And this time click the orientation checkbox. Now I can make my free division parallel to a specific panel. I'm going to choose the right side. I can add a position as well if I like here. Click OK. So it's a neat way to apply an upright at exactly the same angle as your side panel. Let's delete that again. I'm now going to turn this cabinet into a free shape. Click here. Let's go and edit the shape. I'm going to give this left side an angle. And again apply a free division, orientation and this time make it parallel to the left side. Let's move it along a bit using the position parameters in the properties menu. Let's make it a little bit closer to the left side and view it in 3D. So here again using the orientation feature we've been able to create a neat design with the upright following the angled wall of the cabinet. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.